Hey guys, welcome back. It's our one of our last podcasts of the year. One of your first hosts, Herbert. Ronnie, Enrique. And Jonathan. Oh my God. Uh, what do you guys feel? This is what, like our second to the last podcast? Third to last? Dude, I don't even know, but I know that Christmas is around Ron. the corner next week, right? Yep. And we have two more after this before we're done. All right, real quick though, yeah. before we keep on going, who you who would think, like if one of us is the Grinch, who would it be? Like here, who would be the Grinch here? I, I think, think Enrique. I was going to say, I think I'd play the better Grinch, but... No, like, you would be the Grinch. I could see that. Yeah, I'm, I dig it. Like, Enrique, does uh, what's your favorite holiday? Is it Christmas? Oh, that's a good question. Is it? Um, is don't, it say, don't say like 9-11. I'm big on <laughs> Oh, my God. That's not all. Is that, well, I guess it is a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Veterans Day or is it uh, Valentine's Day? I, like The two biggest holidays are three in America. Like, what, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, right? Everything else is just okay, normal. So what's your favorite holiday? Um, I'm going to have to say Christmas because there's no school during that holiday. I think I think Thanksgiving too, though. Uh, no, I, Thanksgiving I, messed me up. I think Christmas. Yeah, really? Christ I'm on Christmas. I think my birthday. <laughs> it's a great holiday. It's, yeah, it's the best day ever, man. Like, I think, uh, well, this time around, though, like, it's just like, this is like family time, though, right? I've always been saying this, you know, Thanksgiving is family time. Christmas is family time. And uh, even if you're not religious or whatever, you still kind of hang out with your family, give gifts or whatever. You don't have to give gifts, though. You could just hang out with them and just show spirit. You right. can Apple pay someone, yeah. Oh, that's true. Speaking of gifts, have you guys gotten gifts for your family and friends? Um, No, I have. Uh, Kind of. So, yeah. Sort of. The only thing I went, I already told you guys this, we went shopping for the kids. Remember the toy drive that we did? But that's about it. Other than that, mm -hmm. any like other gifts, like somewhat because we do have a on my side of the family we have like a family exchange because instead of like it's kind of hard to buy everybody like gifts because it's a big family so it's like do you want to go that route or just pay for one you know and then buy the kids gift because we don't in include the kids we only do the mm -hmm. adults in the gift exchange because yeah. you know, kids are kids so we just give them like you know their gifts yeah i feel like with kids yeah for sure like give them a little something but <clears throat> i mean honestly with my family we did we did secret santa because okay. for a time there, yeah, like getting gifts to everybody, like it was kind of hard. Obviously, it can get expensive too. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, Secret Santa, you put a quote or whatever and then just go at it, man. Wait, do you, um, do they raise a pre uh, the pre the, like, not the prices on gifts or toys? Inflation, yeah, 10%. I think so. Well, I know the Consumer Report just came out recently. The, C uh, the, the CPI. Yeah, and then they said that, yeah, we're above a little bit. But inflation is kind of slowing down. I don't know if you guys noticed. Ish. Ish. I'm not saying okay. Enrique say naughty no. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me why no. Um, I I think with what the government is doing in the next couple of weeks and then in the next month or two, re recession is gonna get a lot, a lot worse because of the repercussions of that. So I think we'll just stand by and wait and see because I guess we're all curious. So, but we'll yeah. see. But I think it's gonna get dramatically worse with what's going on. Hey, yeah. But, but gas prices are down though. That's what's so, gonna make it dramatically worse. You don't know the outcome of that. Yeah, your research for, guys. for now it might be nice, but It'll I feel nice like, like I'm, a month I'm with it. Enrique. I feel like we won't see it until maybe like January? summer of 2023. That's when we're going to feel it. Well, well, we'll see. That's until summer 2023. Yeah. And that's when we're going to have our bodies back into. Yeah. Summer bodies, baby. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Bodies. There'll be inflation. Ready? All muscles be ready for a recession. Too. We're looking good out here. Yeah. Like hey, summer 2023 though, bros, whoever's starting their goals, do them now. Start them smart. What is the smart goals? Uh, or like small goals, like don't go like extreme on the goals, like you know baby, baby steps, yeah, I guess. baby steps. And like Enrique says, be consistent. Consist consistency is key. Keep your goals reachable. And look, one investment that I always tell people is buy a membership to the gym. It doesn't matter where you go. Planet Fitness. What other gyms is that? Fitness home 19. gym. Oh, if home gym, but that's an investment. But like you have to pay for it. Uh, Fitness nineteen. Oh yeah, talking about home gyms though, the weights. Like, you know, the prices of weights mm -hmm. did go down, though. You know how during COVID, everything spiked? Oh, uh, like, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't find some stuff either, yeah. And it went up to, like, three times per weight. Like, the let's say a 10-pound will cost you three times, so it'll be $30 for, like, 30. Yeah, because it, it's normally, yeah. like, a dollar a pound. So if it's a 45-pound plate, then it's, like, $45. But now it's, like, $3 a pound. So now it's, like, 45 times three, and that's how much the 45 cost, which is crazy. But... It went down, though, because I just talked to uh, Carlos. I was talking to, you know how Carlos, uh, the baddie mm -hmm. Carlos, he has his own home gym. And he, because I was telling him, I was like, should I buy, like, some some gym equipment to have at, yeah. the, at the house? And he's like, well, if I was you, don't look at and offer up, you know, offer mm -hmm. up. You know how people resell you stuff? Yeah. He's like, if I was you, just try to buy new. The reason why is because the uh, prices went down. So whoever's looking into buying something for the house, like any home gyms, any dumbbells, uh, a bench, squat rack, whatever. Pilates machine. 
a Pilates machine. I'll talk about that. But yeah, so <laughs> make sure that you just uh, maybe buy from the actual manufacturer or wherever they're selling it, like Amazon, Walmart, I don't know, you name it. But uh, going back to the gym, though, what I really like about fit, uh, LA Fitness or any of those gyms is one thing that Ronnie did recently is that he did a class. And it was free because it's included in our pass. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's the best instructor, but it still works you out. Ronnie, yeah. can talk about that. So Ronnie just did cycling or yeah, cycling, yeah, indoor, so, indoor cycling. So you could tell us about. Yeah, it came out of a one hour indoor cycling class right now. So it was 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. I've never really done a class before. But honestly, yeah, like uh, LA Fitness does offer, obviously, classes like throughout the week, uh, whether it's like Zumba or like cycling, like I said, or yoga. I think they do yoga. I think too. they also do yoga. Yeah. Swimming um, too. So, oh, swimming. I don't do know about swimming, swimming class. classes. That'll be cool. I don't know about swimming classes, but yeah. I know they have the swimming pool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen instructors there that like have shirts of, of the fitness or the the LA Baddies or LA Maybe. Fitness shirts. <laughs> LA Baddies. Sorry, might, I'm used might have been that. another like IG group out there, man. But um, <laughs> but no, yeah, honestly, dude, the classes were fun. So like with me, obviously, like I go to the gym, I lift weights, I you know I work out, but cardio, like that's not my strong suit. So today when I was in there, um, I. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, 20 minutes in, I was like, dude, I'm going to walk out of here. Like, Dead. Like my breath was, like, heavy. Like, my chest was, like, like hurting. I was like, dude, I need my inhaler. I'm about to pass out. I was like, dude, I'm sweating up a storm. But, honestly, you keep pushing through. <laughs> and then I I kind of got the feeling of what you guys, like, uh, talk about when you guys run. You get a runner's high. Okay. Like, psych- so, so, like, you at, got the psych- <clears throat> yeah, so, like, at 35 minutes, like, I just got this pump. And I was like, dude, I can, I can do an hour. Like, I, I got this. So I kept pushing, I kept pushing, and then, yeah, sure enough, it was, like, 40 minutes and 45, and I was, like, all right, now, like, I was, like, 10 more minutes, 15 more minutes, like, I got this, I got this. And then, yeah, sure enough, like, an hour, an hour just passed by, and obviously, they have, like, really good music, yeah, that's what like, pump-up music. Yeah, and, music. Yeah, and especially ones that you kind of relate to, um, like, at least for me, they, they were playing Macklemore. Oh, okay. So that's, like, um, one of the songs that, obviously, like, when we graduated, we play that a lot. I don't know, it just kind of pumped me up. All right. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like some songs, like, I don't know. They just get you, like you start singing in your head and everything. And the next thing you know, like five minutes went by. Damn. And then another kind of song comes on and then you just keep going. And then honestly, it was fun. So real quick though. Uh, hey, Ronnie, no. <clears throat> did you do the thing? Like, did you like try to pull out your halo like halfway? And you're like, dude, I don't need this. And just threw it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I wish I had it there yeah. for a second, but no, I didn't. <laughs> but you did have water nearby you or no? Yeah, yeah. So I had a little water bottle and then also like a towel mm-hmm. just to like, Cause I was sweating up a storm, man. I'm not even lying. Damn. That's that's probably the most I like sweated off. Yeah, because my shirt was like drenched. drenched. As soon as I left the gym, I got in my car. I took my shirt off, and obviously it was like drenched. So I went in my car. I took it off, and then I, I honestly, I was looking for a shirt because I was like, hey, man, like it's freaking cold out here right now. So thankfully, I had my hoodie and I threw it back on, and then honestly, that wrapped up my whole like class experience. It was great. Got a good workout. Would you go again? Would I go again? Honestly, I, I think I would. I think I would. It was fun. It's every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. LA Fitness in Glendora. What do you call the ones where the older uh, Asian people dance in the studio? That's, that's, that's a thing? Yeah. It's like Wait, Zumba. What are you talking about? Zumba, right? Zumba, yeah. yeah. Oh, Zumba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. When they're just like dancing around. Yeah, with right? some loud music. Bunny. It's always like Hispanic music. Like yeah. a song. Honestly, but like looking at it from afar, you're like, oh, like, what's going on over there? But being in it, it's like, whoa. It's like some, it's something else. Yeah, on. yeah. I felt like, honestly, like some songs, I was like, dude, I feel like I'm at a rave right now or something. Like, I just I just kept going. So do you recommend this to people? Like, to give it a try, you know? you know, Because some people are scared, though. Like, I would I check know. it out. I'm not I saying I'm s- scared, but like they kind of don't want to die. Like you said, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to yeah, yeah, pull yeah. out my inhaler, even though I don't have it. No, yeah. So. Especially, honestly, I mean, they tell you like, hey, like we're going at a... Uh, we're going at this gear or whatever. But obviously, like, know your body, know your strengths. Like, you don't have to keep up with everybody. Like, you can just go at your own pace. But obviously, like, try and keep up, you know. And then like, especially. Push, yeah, push yourself. Yeah, push yourself still. But uh, obviously, with, like, cycling, too, if you haven't done it, maybe go, like, a few days prior. Check it out yourself. Maybe do, like, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Because um, I know the first time I did it, I was sore. Well, even, like, riding on a, on a bicycle, like. Oh, I see. I see. Did yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Okay, did your butt hurt though? Be honest. No, like my butt is not hurting right now. I feel like because I, I usually tend to cycle after my workouts. I'll do like 10, 15 minutes. Because after every workout, I like, I'll do that. So you're prepping for it? Yeah, yeah. So like my butt is ready, man. 
Yeah. Wait, does does the instructor give you what resistance to put it in? Yeah, yeah. She tells you. She's like, "Hey guys, like, okay, we're at fifteen right now." Oh, okay. And then as obviously like before the beat drops, like you step it up, step it up, and it's like, okay, boom, kick it up to twenty, and then we're is gonna it, stand up, and then. Is it not go one of those it. like aggressive instructors? Like, hey, Gretchen, I see you out there. I see you there. Like, like no, put your no, shit no, up, no. Gretchen. <laughs> no, no, no. She, she was cool. She was yeah. cool. I feel like if she was, she would have called me out for sure because I was like the one like. That was the, struggling, bro. Yeah. Like, she's like in your ear yelling. It's like you little. No, piece yeah. Of Luckily, shit. I was in the back, so I was like, okay, cool. Like I might have like, I, it, like yeah, 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 yeah. So you get to choose your bike. Do you you get to set it up? They'll make sure you set it up at the right height. Yeah, right. Because you know some some bikes are like they're adjustable. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know that do I know that some cycling, uh, like such as Grit or like this this cycling um mm-hmm. company that they do indoor cycling. I know that they uh end up um buying shoes. Actually, like mimicking, like what me and Erika do out in cycling. Oh, outside. like clip on shoes. And clip everything? on shoes. Oh, in. wow. Okay. And then so you clip on, so you can kind of just yeah. focus on just pushing. Yeah. Like you don't even have to focus on your foot. Foot. Uh, what is it called? On foot your placement. Foot placement. Oh, yeah. Because okay. sometimes um, it matters. Like yeah. you just want to focus on the power going into the machine or your workout, right? Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I tell people that whoever starts cycling, give it a try with clips. Mm-hmm. It is dangerous or it is scary at first to some people that don't have balance and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, we taught someone, Sandra, remember Enrique, me and you taught Sandra how to clip on. She Wait, did but she, no, no, but she also mentioned, uh, that you guys saw her fall as well. Cause okay. you guys didn't teach. Yeah. Her we were giving her a bunch of instructions and <laughs> she then was she, in the grass. <laughs> she was on the grass and she didn't let us know she was going to hop on the bike and like, and, and we were close by and we told her, well, cash her, don't worry about it. But we didn't know she was, she was going to just hop on the bike right now. And so in, the, in that catch, moment, so didn't catch her. So no, as we were talking, she hopped on, so and then we just looked at her, and in that same she second, just, she just collapsed. She was, like the moment you turned around, she was like halfway. <laughs> yeah. So we were like, oh well, um, well, let us know next time. We'll definitely catch you. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra, wake up. Sandra. <laughs> but uh, it, it doesn't just happen to her though. It happened to me before. Like yeah. when I started cycling, like the dumbest fall ever. Like literally, I was clip on, and I try to unclip because like it's like you could kind of adjust your pedals to mm-hmm. have some resistance in clipping, like how easy you wanted to clip because. I think I, my resistance is a little bit easier than Enrique's, and it depends on the type of clip you have. So there's a lot of things that goes into the clipping shoe, yeah. all that purpose, right? So I know that it, when Carlos bought his bike, Batty Carlos, he literally, the day he bought his bike, he came over to my house. He's like, let's go cycling. And I was like, all right, cool. He bought his clip or his shoes. I was like, put them on. He's like, oh, all right. So I was like, I told him, I was like, Carlos, understand that when you come to a complete stop, you got to take out one leg. And so you could like lean over it in that leg that you have it off. Right. So I was like, what's your strong leg? Like, what leg do you like to feel comfortable in the cl- on clipping? And he told me what I think he said left. I was like, all right, cool. Like I do right. So like everybody's different. You do whatever works for you. That's it. Do it. So tell me why he clipped on. And then he decided to unclip with the other leg. But I guess he was like, he wasn't thinking. So he ended up falling and he scratches like a lever, his little shifter. And that was his first ever time going on the bike. And imagine you imagine you getting a car or whatever, something that it's expensive. Mm-hmm. And it just tips and, over. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you scratching it or something. Oh. You know, you know, you know how that feeling you know, I, I know how you try to a, paddle or park or something. You're like, yeah, oh. you scratch your rims or whatever, and you're like, man, like this is a brand new car. You know, I haven't even had it for like a minute or like two, whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, that happened to him. But uh, other than that, that was the only fall that Carlos has ever, you know, for as of now. So I hope he doesn't fall again. But I know that it happens to everybody. I don't know if Enrique has fallen, though. I have never fallen. I've never been anything with clips. I, I mean, just catch on quick. Uh, sometimes, you know, a, a random sign gets in your way and you end up falling. <laughs> like Herbert. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Herbert fell, but he ended up falling in a different way, too. But that was that was people just fall around all you guys. I fell around you guys, too. Ronnie, you I mean, fall for us. You fell for us. Like I, when I you fall for us. you. Yeah. Are we really going to do this right now? <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so I think that I, I, I think. People should just give it a try. And I'm happy that you gave it a try. When, no, you, yeah. when you told me you were going to join the class, because I was going to go, I did go work out, but I did like Were you like, is this guy joking? Yeah, I was like, nah, he's joking. But yeah, I saw you there. I was like, oh, that's dope, man. Like, like congrats to yeah, him. Yeah. Like, you know, like that hour. I don't know. I just feel like it's just different. Mm-hmm. Not only that, um, we do have to join Tracy's class, Active Seven Fitness. We've oh, been yeah, saying man. this before the year ends. I know the year is already around the corner, yeah. literally down the street. Uh, so we have to show up to, uh, yeah, man. Also the new people we met power spin. Oh, power spin. Some they're girls that own their own little, like, like Varani says the cycling or a spin class, I guess they're yeah. called. So same thing. They're all about it. They invited us. So we were probably going to go there eventually too, but no, yeah, man, honestly, I'm down, but on a, like going to this class today, I feel like being there in person is, 
I don't know. It gives you that extra like push. That push because I, I know there's obviously like pelotons. You could do like yeah, there's different like video like online like uh, classes like that, like but, at home or something. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I know some people can do it, but at least for me, like I like to be around other people. Kind of like I don't know. You want like, you want to feel the vibe the energy, and then like yeah. yeah, like I feel like it pushes you. Is they, they hold you accountable. Exactly. And then uh, I feel like if you become like a, a regular, like you start yeah. going, people start noticing you. They're like, mm-hmm. oh, what's up, Ronnie? And they start seeing your name. So the next thing, next time you go, and then like they, they'll hold you accountable. Then they'll tell you like, where were you at next week? Like last week or whatever. And then you're kind of like, oh, shit, like I'm I'm slacking, right? Or <laughs> I was busy, whatever. Yeah. But uh, that's good, man. I hope you keep on doing that. Cause oh, yeah, man. It was cool. I want you to actually, I want you to hit cycling outdoors with us. And uh, we do have an extra bike for you, so don't worry about that. We'll find a bike for you. But I want you to hit outdoors because it's something else. Yeah. Now, talk, going back to Herbert, though, I want Herbert to get back on his bike. Oh, and yeah, man. Otherwise, I'll take it, dude. It's cool. No, that's not going to happen. So I'll get back on my bike <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, but I do want you to go back, though, for no, us, no. Herbert. Uh, I know you did an awesome job when you first got it, and uh, you showed us that you could definitely do GMR, Glendora Mountain Road. And What's I, the most you did in miles? Uh, whatever GMR was 20, 20 something miles, yeah. 22 or something like that. So nice. I feel like he could do GMR to Azusa. Now he just has to uh, practice and get back into mm-hmm. it. Cause, yeah. um, you know, I don't want you to be dying at the end of the day when you do a workout and when you push your body, whatever workout you're doing, yeah. you should train though. You should train. Don't, you know, don't overdo it. Cause sometimes like you're just going to regret it yeah. or let me know. I mean, I have an extra inhaler. So just <laughs> FYI. Nah, dude, I have good genetics on me though. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep that on your own with your bad knees, Ronnie. Yeah, oh yeah. So no, I'm sorry. I think <laughs> no, like, he's right. He's right. <laughs> I think uh you should also uh maybe try to bring back into like running a little bit. I'm not seeing a lot, mm, Ronnie, uh, just a little tiny bit. Dude, well when was the last time you ran, actually? Oh man, it was so long ago. It was probably was like it six pizza? months ago. Was it pizza running? No, 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 no. That was from, from one bar to the other. He ran. He ran to catch. I miss up. running with yeah. you. Actually, when are you gonna come back? Oh yeah, Rick is gonna come back soon because he's done with finals. Finals are wait this Thursday. You can come then, but it's cold. No, I don't care. No, we warm up. No, yeah, warm yeah. Up a quarter mile in, you feel fine. Yeah, yeah, but the whole before starting. Okay, but it's we're gonna be there with I'm friends. I'm just kidding. I'm coming up with excuses, but no, yeah. I mean, my I, my semester ends this week, so how exciting. There you oh, go. I'm, I'm going to get back into fitness because I've been slacking a little bit. Just going to the gym like once or twice a week, which is not yep. normal for me. But uh. I want to get back to four times a week starting Monday next week immediately. I don't give myself a break immediately. You got to yeah. get back onto it. But Enrique is going to be busy because uh, he does have something like he's going to volunteer, do some stuff, so, which is awesome for that. So Enrique is going to stay uh, working I'm, I'm his brain. I'm remember. Yeah. So he's going to be working his brain. Mm-hmm. So You know what I mean? So that's good because you, know you know when you like a lot of people that go to school, right? And you take a break, that break like feels like when you go back to school feels like you're resting well, when you go well, back. Well, that's when yeah. you, when you asked about the, the favorite holiday. Like Thanksgiving was bad for me because yes, you get an entire week off, but that week just just it, it took away all my momentum from school. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was studying a little bit throughout the week, but then once Monday came, like I was just slow on the homework. I was like not paying as much attention. I just felt like like out of focus. So and then that's immediately after its finals and all this stuff. So it's like I don't like Thanksgiving break. Like Enrique, um, I wanna I wanna see you when it's your like last year oh when you God. hit se- your senioritis. That's what they call it, whatever. Or your last year, dude. That's like the worst thing ever because you just clocked out. You're like, bro, I want to get my degree and get the hell out of here because it's it's that's it. You know, I want to get out. But I do want to see something though. When I went, uh, when I you know when I graduated with my bachelor's and I went to start working. I did miss school though. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, uh, mm-hmm. Herbert and uh, Ronnie. If you guys miss school sometimes, I'm not seeing. I just miss the fact that you're there with friends. You meet people and you, yeah. you, you could like learn something. The whole testing sucks. hundred percent. It, it yeah. sucks. The testing sucks for sure. Like the last two weeks and all the projects and this, but I miss the environment, the environment where everyone's kind of doing the same thing. Everyone's trying to learn. Everyone's trying to do. It, yeah. Like do you're on the, the same boat those. as everyone yeah, else. It's like, like, it's like that person next to me is on the same level as me and everyone's growing together. So I, I miss that. Mm-hmm. I miss that. So I hope maybe, I don't know. I, I know we talked about this us as uh, the baddies. Like we always talk about our education and stuff. We try to be mentors in, in us, like in our group. Yeah. And I know that, I don't know. I told the Herbert, if you, you should go back to your grad school and all that. But mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day, though, I, we should have uh, you should have some like the company pay for it, like whatever company you work for, try to get those benefits or whatever. So, you know, so uh, like you don't want to pay for it full. You know what I mean? So right. that's what I did. I made 
I made them, I kind of get them reimbursement mm-hmm. cause, um, I'm making the company. I, I could use that, whatever I learned in class, yeah. bring it back to the company. So that's something cool. So yeah, Enrique. So I'm excited for you when you graduate, this is gonna take a while, but time is going to fly by, bro. We're going to be still doing podcasts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then we're gonna be like, bro, like listen to podcast number what? Like a hundred and some. We should, we should reset the number after every year. <laughs> we should, huh? Yeah. Actually, oh, I guess. Well, we'll, we'll think about it. Yeah, I can't. I kind of like put, a tally of, of the whole podcast. But every every year it can reset. It can, like like this so year could have been like if, it, if the year is twenty 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 two or I guess season, yeah. and then twenty twenty two and then one oh and I don't know a number after that episode one. I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, we could probably do that. Maybe, but Maybe uh. Cool. But Ronnie, um, what's yeah, up, Ronnie? so I know I know Enrique's done with finals, and I know we said maybe like that little break can like mess you up and everything. But I just looked up, and it says Pilates as a Ooh. strength training exercise. It helps improve brain functions and memory. So right. I think maybe Enrique should try Pilates for the or, next what couple or weeks. Or I just go to the gym, which will do the same thing for me. But Pilates is really interesting. It's really good to have, especially if you have it at home. So talking about Pilates, because we got into this subject already, but what is Pilates, Enrique? Try to get it out because we don't, we're new to this and we're going to be honest with you. Um, I did not I know, know how to spell Pilates. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Pilates. <laughs> well, it's, it's someone's last name, which is why it, like the word oh, really? doesn't tell you what it is. It's someone's last name. Oh, his what? name is Joseph Pilates. Um, Interesting. Wow. So, so this, when was this, this invented? I'm curious. When? It was, yeah. So Pilates is a type of mind body exercise developed in the early 20th century yes. by German physical trainer. The Joseph Pilates, after whom it was named. Damn. You know, the Germans did a lot of good. good <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Back in the 1900s. <laughs> so Pilates, though, uh, <laughs> I did not know that Pilates is like people go to class. You know how we were talking about classes, right? Ronnie? Yeah, yeah. You know it's, how it's huge. Yeah. So Pilates, but there's a Pilates reformer machine. So there's a machine that you do Pilates in instead of you just u- using like the yoga mat. Mm-hmm. So I ended up buying a pilates machine for monica i ended up getting a good deal so thank you whoever sold it to us but uh, we got a good deal and um yeah like on tiktok i posted the first pilates videos i did reverse lunges i'm gonna be honest with you it was pretty good for my body because um, i'm not flexible um I, I was never that flexible type of dude i never stretched before like yeah. the only stretching i'd done what like i ever done was like when i played football but that wasn't enough for my body. Yeah, you're pretty anti-stretch, huh? I think you, I remember you mentioning you don't like stretching. Yeah. I, I should stretch, though. No, not anymore, it. though. Not anymore. You guys can see it, but Jonathan has his leg behind his head right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do want to. I do want to get. I do want to do that. That's like my goal. It, it, it's one of my goals too, but I don't know if I can do it now. I think just focusing Put on my, my muscle your... growth. <laughs> well, because I used to be a little more flexible with wrestling and, and MMA, but now that I'm not doing that, I'm just only doing like gym heavy lifting or whatever. Then that's my flexibility is not good. And I, and I want it for sports and I want it for when I get back into MMA, but I've always just wanted to do the splits. Yeah, that's what like, I want to do. Yeah. I, I do, do want to like, like in a dance move where you just throw that out of nowhere. Oh, and people go, oh my dude. God, he's insane. You're slowly but going down. Like, oh, You're like, you do I, it wrong. I can go lower. Yeah. Wevel splash. There you go. Oh, like leave a little imprint on the, on the <laughs> no. On they're the gonna floor? be. You're gonna pop. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, what I, I do want to do that though, Herbert. You read my mind. I want to go to a party. I want to be like at the Christmas party and just drop it. Oh, just like drop, drop it like it's hot. You know what was cool is when you uh, somebody lifts their one leg over their like to their like parallel to their body and then they just drop like forward oh, and then do the splits like that. That mm. that sounds painful, but it's cool. It's cool, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. see, uh, that reminds me, my my roommate in college. He actually, he did he could that. do the splits? Yeah, he did the splits, but he, I was telling him to show me, but uh, yeah, I never got it. But he dances. So he was a dancing, uh, like he would be dancing and yeah. out of nowhere, like. Was it was, just you guys in the room just no, hanging no, out no. like that? No, I, I went to his, um, oh. he did it. This he was aud- in the top bunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he did an audition and uh, he told me and Monica to go to this, his audition. So I was like, okay, I'm down to. Yeah. I'm down to see what's going on and what's up with the dance. And yeah, he ended up doing the dancing. Like he was dancing to audition for this uh, club at school and he ended up dropping and doing the splits. And I was like, well, oh my, like, bro, I was like, that's awesome. So I told him after, I was like, how do you do it? And he just said, well, practice and um, you got to be flexible. But uh, he did it and it was awesome. It looked that reminds cool. me, actually during COVID, I try to get flexible enough so I can do the splits and I only lasted like four days. I only asked like four days. I got like halfway to the floor and I was like, I'm good. <laughs> Dude, because you can probably, you just slowly, slowly get more flexible. It hurts. The time. It does hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's, I think there's a way for 
I don't know. There's there is an easier way to do it, I guess, but it's still like the split. I don't know. There's like different techniques to do it. Like like if you use bands, you can use your door or whatever to like oh. kind of pull on your leg a little bit. Because instead of using your own body weight where you're like out of balance, you can use something to help you stay balanced. And maybe you can just come over and help me. I, I would love to. We can I'm just push you down to the floor, Herbert. <laughs> yeah, I I'm like basically that. a personal just trainer. All so. you guys just pushing me out on the floor, me trying to get up, and then you guys <laughs> keep pushing me down. I like that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, going back to Pilates, I do I do it is gonna make me uh, you know get become flexible. Oh my god! So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. I'm Dude, gonna keep on doing it. Jo- once Johnny gets his first split, he's not gonna he's not gonna be so excited to show us. Do you guys? Oh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna be dropping it all like the time. randomly. He's gonna be just at the grocery store. Both legs line. behind his head. <laughs> <laughs> my like, favorite, sir, sir. This is an Arby's. Can you please? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I got the machine. So congrats to me. There you uh, go, man. That's, it wasn't my, it's not for me. It's more for Monica, but mm-hmm. Hey, it's in the house. And, uh, and if you guys want to do it too, uh, whenever, if you, before the podcast, you guys want to do like a little 10 minute Pilates yeah, workout. Yeah. First class. I was like, what is that thing, man? Like this you guys were making fun of it. It looks, it does look sexual. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like some of the workouts look pretty, um, I was like, this is provocative. Pro- oh, yeah. But, uh, when you're by yourself and just relaxing, listening to cool music, so Mal, what is so it? The Maddie Mac- podcast? Mac- no, no, oh, the Body- Baddie's podcast or Macklemore? What is? <laughs> so Macklemore, yeah, man. <laughs> All the background, Kanye. Kanye yeah. yeah, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like, and then like they make you when you look at it on YouTube, like you have to breathe in and breathe out. Like it's kind of like yoga. It's exactly mm-hmm. like yoga, but you add a little bit of, of strength training to it, which is so why all the concepts are the same. But you just add a little bit of of extra force. And the one that I got though, the Pilates machine that I got, it has four resistant bands so you could set your resistance because it's your body weight that's hot <laughs> what, do, what do you mean like what, how's that hot it's, it's just it's just four resistant bands it's better than three <laughs> that's true it's four but uh yeah so you set your own resistant bands and then um there is a pilates box like this box that like the foam box that you could use on the side such as when like the tiktok that i did it was a reverse lunge so i was standing on top of the uh, Pilates box and then I stand on top of the like the Pilates reformer machine and I was doing some reverse lunges so and um, then I also did some squats is the machine like does it um, have capabilities to have two males on it or is it just one person no it's just for one person yeah, mm. it's a shame you cannot do doubles or you, you can have a spotter though okay yeah we can have oh, a spotter yeah, yeah. Yeah. and they have it okay one thing though I, when we got it uh, Carlos and Enrique were here or well, Carlos Enrique showed up after but there's a option that you could add a trampoline. There's a trampoline, and Enrique tried it. Like you bounce off, but like it's pretty cool because you got to land back in and you bounce off, land mm. back. I, I thought it was cool because I said I'm, I'm a tall person. I'm six feet tall, so I thought I thought I wasn't gonna be able to fully extend on that. But no, yeah. I was able to still fully extend and kick off like a like a feet off the the little trampoline thing. Oh, so wow. it's pretty cool that it's long enough to like for tall people too. <clears throat> it's yeah. So that machine is uh, nine feet uh, long. Like, mm-hmm. so it's, it's pretty long. So, and then uh, I think it's wide, like two to three feet or two, two and a half feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's pretty, and it's lifted. It's like elevated. The height is like yeah. a, a foot and a half or something too. So it's a pretty cool machine to have. Now, the thing is that you have to have space for it. So, yeah. But real quick though, uh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. It's around the corner. Uh, I know we did a toy drive recently, but there's other events. So I don't, I, there's other events that you guys should do, such as, you know, there's going to be the, what is it called? The homeless, like, you know, when they go feed the homeless and stuff, like with all these other groups that we have friends. Uh, so just on trail with, they're doing some of the homeless, like feed the homeless and stuff like that. Not only that, there's going to be other toy drives, blankets. Uh, what is it called? The blanket drive? Like when you you donate blankets, I think High Hikers mm, is doing that. Okay. Uh, and then I don't know. I don't know what he has to do at work, but there's like Christmas parties. So, you know, this is this is a cool time to be alive. You know, I hope no one gets sick, though, because the flu is coming by. So please take your vitamins. Please stay healthy. Please wear a sweater. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but hydrate or f- <laughs> oh, hydrate, too. Yeah. Stay and hydrated. sleep and, and, and make sure you sleep and, you know, you take days off if you have to. But uh, this time around, you're going to see family members. Make sure if you're feeling sick, stay home. Do not go. Don't to, risk it. Yeah, don't risk it because, like, you know, you don't want to get your tia, tio or grandma, grandpa sick you know just because you wanted to say what's up to a family there's facetime there's instagram live there's tiktok you can see in you know different areas but uh, i hope no one here gets sick right uh and whoever's taking finals or whoever took finals i hope you guys got that a you wanted or the f that you deserve because enrique deserves that f no but they're gonna curve so i I won't have an f in the end 
<sighs> what do you have, like a D minus? A D. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, w- w- in one class, my, my F should go up to an e- either an A or B, A or B, hopefully. Oh, really? The other class, I don't oh, know okay. where I'll be, because I've been doing pretty good compared to the average, so like, I, it sh- I should be in the game on that class. It's a but big the other curve. One, nice. I love it. Look, Enrique, here at the Baddies headquarters, we're always above, a- above average. All right, so you better take that with you and that you know have that head like the mentality and stuff like it, that. It's always with me. That never goes away. Nice. That's what and, I like uh, about you, Enrique. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta follow our footsteps. Herbert, Ronnie, and I. We never got to. See, well, I got to see, but we never got a D or an F in college. I, I think, right? No. Yeah, no, no. I did get a C in physics. So my well, th- these are physics mm-hmm. classes. So yeah. I'm struggling. See, physics was a little. A little As a matter of fact, now. most of my classes are physics, which is why I'm struggling in. And so I will continue to struggle. Like, so we don't mind you getting this. I mean, some app, some Apple fell on Newton. He's just invented this whole like, freaking subject. <laughs> the hell's the matter with them? The Newton's first law, second law. I'm third hanging law. out. Something hits me in the head. I move. I don't just start <laughs> thinking about stuff. <laughs> so you react after. Sorry, it I just hits got you? mad over Newton. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if it's someone, something hits your head, you just go to sleep. Oh, yeah, I mean, if it's hard enough, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys. So we just want to say we're gonna have another podcast until the end of the year. We're gonna keep on going, but. If you guys are done listening to us this year because you guys are bored of us, but don't. But happy holidays to whoever, you know, is listening to us. We'll see you guys in our runs and we might, you know, do a pop up hike. And remember that next year, though, we're going to do in January 1st, we're going to try to make one at night, like a pop up hike or we're going to post it. Actually, it's not going to be pop up, but we're going to try to make it like an easy hike for a lot of people could join us. And then you guys could start off your year right by hiking with us. And it's not going to be, uh, I hope it doesn't rain. Fingers crossed. Uh, we got to check the weather. Yeah. But if it rains, guess what? We're still going to do it because we did Echo Mountain in the rain a while back. And that is true. And we did not give up. Uh, so, yeah. And then, like we always say, if you guys need any help with fitness or anything like that, hit us up. Yeah, if you Don't guys just want to join us, yeah, just hit us up. Look at Gus. Gus, shout out to Gus. He's been coming and he's been, there's some days that he takes off. It's fine. We don't. We don't hold it against it because we still keep working, doing yeah. workouts. But if he shows up, hey, we're there for him. Yeah, man. We made him do some push-ups and all that. And he was struggling. He, we chest, but he literally think he always thinks, like gives us thanks to like, uh, cause we're there for him. And you know, it's just it's all just like family, you know, right? So thank you guys so much for listening to us. Like I said, stay tuned. Make sure that you look at our website. We are gonna get new merch sooner than later. Uh, so yeah, we have the website up. We have TikTok. For videos, workout videos, such as Pilates, we're going to start posting more. Hmm. We have the, uh, what else, Instagram for our hikes that we haven't done any recently, but stay tuned. And then we have Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube for our podcast. So we love you guys all, and happy holidays.